Hey guys, it's poppin' Jacques Slade here, and this is the Adidas 4D Forward 2. It's the latest and greatest from the three stripes, and on this go-round, it got better in a lot of ways. The most exciting part, it pushes us all close to the day when we can get that perfect personalized sneaker from your local sneaker shop. So while this isn't a full review of the 4D Forward 2, uh, I did partner with Adidas on this video to give you my first impressions of the new silhouette from its 3D printed midsole to the prime knit to the soft engineered mesh that they use to prevent any hot spots here around the laces. I was impressed right off the bat. Literally from the moment I took these out of the box, you could feel how well the shoe is made. Often, oftentimes you hear about 3D printed items and they are used as a temporary solution, but with the 4D, you get the real deal right off the back and from your very first touch, you can feel the quality. Let's get some of the basics out of the way. These fit a little snug. I typically wear a size 11, but for this pair, I went up a half size and the fit is pretty much perfect. Now, I typically like to wear thicker socks, so you may not need to go up half a size, but for me, that provides the best fit in both the width and the length of my foot. As for the price, um, these are gonna cost you $200, which is right where I expected them to be especially considering the technology that Adidas is using is fairly new when it comes to sneakers. And it's also billed as one of the more premium running options the company has to offer. For you 4D fans, you'll know that we've seen versions of 4D sneakers that go for as high as four to $500. So to see Adidas align these with more mainstream pricing for running shoes is a good thing in my opinion. So speaking of the technology being new, let's actually backtrack a bit and break down what is actually happening here on this midsole. So 4D is based on the 3D structure that Adidas created in partnership with California-based firm Carbon. The two companies have been working together for the last few years using a special process of 3D printing called digital light synthesis. The companies describe it as a technology that uses light and oxygen permeable optics to craft a 3D object from a UV curable resin, and then a thermal baking step to achieve the desired properties. Now, I'm not smart enough to understand exactly what that means and how it works, but I have been told it's similar to the way that concrete is made and I know it feels good underfoot, so we have that. Now, the last D in 4D is based on data. Being one of the biggest sportswear companies in the world, Adidas has been able to log tons of athlete data and use that as a catalyst to improve their design. With 4D, that same data is used to create the structure of the midsole and how it's positioned beneath your foot. So if you haven't seen a 4D shoe before, the structure and shape is incredibly unique. Adidas and Carbon created the lattice midsole that you can just about see through if you get it at just the right angle. And through the process of creating this midsole, they're actually able to identify intentional sections of the foot and create a midsole geometry that is specific to the way the section of the foot moves without compromising other areas of the midsole. Now, that sounds complicated, but for this model in particular, Adidas just wanted to focus on the forward movement of runners and find ways through the midsole technology to make that movement more comfortable and more efficient. In essence, Adidas wanted to create a shoe that pushed you forward, or at least gave you the sensation that you were being pushed forward. Now, Adidas achieved this by reducing what they call braking forces and by transforming impact energy, this up and down energy into forward motion. Again, sounds pretty wild, but the simple way of looking at it is Adidas is using the design of this 3D printed midsole to push you forward when you step down on the midsole. So this section here. So instead of their compression just going up and down, Adidas is trying to transfer a portion of that force to release in a more vertical way, if that makes sense. So less braking forces and more forward motion. Now, I've actually had these about a week and I put them on the pavement and you definitely get a smooth ride, which I prefer over something that feels more cushioned but lacks the responsiveness that you need to get to that next step. As a casual runner that puts in 5Ks and a few halves here and there, I need to put a little more time in, but I can see myself eventually getting to a full marathon in a pair of these in both the training and for the full race. At my level, a lot of the reason why I buy certain sneakers boils down to a matter of comfort. And Adidas has used a lot of the tech we love over the last decade or so to keep that feeling here with the upper of the shoe. While Prime Knit Plus is primarily the material over the upper, you can see it in a few different applications on the shoe. This colorway, which is officially carbon, zero metallic, and cloud white, 
uses a ton of prime knit over the upper and blends it with engineered mesh to give you both a comfortable and durable combination. The stretchy area near the tongue here um, helps with actually putting on the shoe and it also adds an additional pop of color to help bring everything together. In fact, the entire tongue is actually pretty stretchy and the upper gets considerably less stretchy and more durable as you get closer to this midsole, which if you think about it actually makes sense. The closer you get down to the ground, the more protection you're going to need. The tighter mesh near the 3D midsole here actually gives you a better lockdown for your foot, but they also have just enough give to allow your, your toes to spread, to kind of give that spread. It's a feature that's pretty crucial to people that run, especially when it comes to your foot health and maintaining your balance. Now, as we get closer to the heel, you can see that the heel actually extends up quite a bit and then it kind of tapers out as it trails down to your Achilles. The 4D team of designers, they added just enough cushioning here in the rear and around your ankle to give you a comfortable fit, but do be warned if you have bigger ankles that you may find a little bit of irritation from the higher cut here around the ankle. You also get a really firm heel counter here that gives you the actual support for your ankle so your heel sits in there really well. Interestingly, uh, the ankle section is really the only area of the shoe where you find any padding. The rest is just the engineered mesh and prime knit. Finally, that brings us to the outsole and I'm a fan of the way that this, this looks. We've actually seen this on the Ultra Boost and Adidas is doing it again here where they use the compound for the rubber is from Continental. Here is actually, it's a pretty tough based on a quick feel test and it's actually thicker than you get on the Ultra Boost as well, which should bode well for the miles you'll be putting in while you're wearing these. I run a lot outdoors on concrete and I'm imagining that I can get probably between one to 200 miles out of these before they start to break down and I need to do some kind of sole swap or something like that. So outside of the technical stuff, the evolution of the Adidas 4D Tech has been fascinating to watch. The thought of building a midsole that is finely tuned to a specific purpose is super exciting for someone like me that loves every part of a sneaker. Part of that is the balance you have to take as a brand. Because yes, there is a ton of crazy tech that you can throw into a shoe to make it a technical marvel. But you also have to think about the aesthetics. Adidas, I believe, has struck a nice balance with this model and it checks a lot of the boxes you look for in a sneaker. You are not going to find a midsole that gives you these types of feels but also delivers on the cushioning the comfort and the performance aspect of a sneaker. Now, according to Adidas, the 4D generates three times more forward motion than the previous versions of the 4D, while also increasing the cushioning by 23%. I also think the shoe just looks great on foot. The toe down is a huge thing for me, and for a lot of other sneakerheads as well, and Adidas has done a great job of capturing that look that many of us actually live by. So the real question is, who is the Adidas 4D forward to actually four. I'd say it's for the daily runner for sure. The feel and look of the midsole are pretty impressive in my eyes. The way the midsole collapses under your foot and springs back into shape while also transitioning you from heel to toe in a more efficient way than the previous model is an experience you just have to feel. I can tell you that I like it, but I don't think you'll actually get it until you slide your foot into a pair and feel like the sock-like texture on the primate on the upper, and then you feel the midsole below you. I also think that this pair is something that a casual sneakerhead could wear and style to their own choosing. Because the shoe isn't super technical, you don't get like the firm or more rigid feel you often get with those types of performance shoes. These strike a nice balance between the tech you need to get in a consistent run and possibly break a PR in the process to a pair you pull out the closet for a day around the city when you want to rock something that's super unique but you don't have to sacrifice comfort to stunt a little bit. Trust me, we've all worn the heat we like even though our feet end up paying for it at the end of the day. So yeah, seeing how far the brand has come in the few years that they've been rocking with this tech is actually pretty dope. I get excited when I think about what they can do with this and think about like maybe five years in the future, who knows, maybe one day that it'll get to a point where you can actually go into a store, they can scan your foot, create a 3D printed shoe with this 4D tech right there on the spot. Yeah, that'd be pretty crazy. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.